On Friday morning, Dave Edwards found himself having to present the news show after the lights went out mid-bulletin. As he was running through the morning's headlines, the studio was plunged into darkness and the presenter was left to think on his feet. Welcoming viewers to the show, he began, Good morning from Look North, hope you're well, these are our main stories this morning. But before long, the show descended into chaos, and as the lights went off Dave said, Oh! Needing to put a few coins in the meter I think. Instead of sitting in silence and waiting for the lights to turn on, he decided to keep going and continued to read the teleprompter. As well as the lights, the studio also had some trouble with the audio, with it sounding like a microphone was being interfered with. Acknowledging the interference, Dave apologized to viewers and said, Apologies again for the technical problems. We will try to get those sorted. More from us in half an hour's time. This wasn't the first time that the BBC News studio had been caught in an awkward blunder, as the day before host Luquesa Barak was caught stretching before her segment. Don't miss! Joan Collins' appearance leaves GMB viewers incredibly distracted, latest, Immerdale's Nikki Milligan's mum exposed as fans work out return, latest, Paul O'Grady's last bit of filming for BBC show he wasn't fan of, latest, after closing off on a piece about vigils being held for nine Belgrade school shooting victims, she said, and that was Bethany Bell in Belgrade there. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News, before the Across the UK titles rolled for a couple of seconds. However, in a video glitch, Luquesa appeared back on screen unexpectedly and was heard sighing, OK, throwing her hands up in the air but soon realized she was being watched. She quickly realized what had happened, her jaw dropping as she mouthed O into the camera. Looking down at her notes, she bit her lip as there was a period of silence, refusing to look into the camera, before waiting for her cue to continue the show. The silence lasted a minute or two before she resumed with the top stories of the day, which included plans for the king's coronation. Viewers took to Twitter to disc sus the blunder, with GH0 Strider tweeting, Attack your day like this newsreader. Yeah. E shared, that was the longest pause ever, did they forget to cue her in hashtag news Louise responded, I did wonder if my TV had frozen hashtag news. Sick, BBC News airs weekdays from 1pm and 6pm on BBC One. i